Justin Trudeau arrives back in Canada. Too bad he won't see the problems at the airports that most Canadians see. Hi, I'm Brian Lilly, political columnist with the Toronto Sun. Justin Trudeau left two weeks ago for a family vacation in Costa Rica. He's now back in the country, but unfortunately, just like when he left, he won't see the problems that his government is creating at Canada's airports. If you've been following along, Canada's airports have been a disaster for months now, going back to late March, early April, when things really started to pick up. More Canadians decided COVID wasn't a factor anymore. They were going to travel, but the airports just weren't there. Now, the government has tried to blame the airport administration. They've tried to blame the problems on airlines selling tickets that they couldn't actually deliver on. And yet, time and again, we keep coming back to one factor, that the problems are at the border check-ins, the uh, the customs lines, and at security screening going out. That's something that Justin Trudeau doesn't see. He doesn't go through a security screening as he leaves to get on the government plane to go to Costa Rica. He's not going to go through a packed customs house in Ottawa when he returns. He'll just talk to somebody quickly, perhaps. I'm told even that doesn't really happen, although his staff does assure me he uses the ArriveCan app. But here's what Canadians are dealing with. Check out the, the videos here and the, uh, the, the photos that have been posted online about the arrivals at, this is Trudeau Airport in Montreal. Check out the customs lines. This is absolute bedlam going on. And yet the government tries to say this is the airports. No, customs screening is purely a federal issue. It's purely federal jurisdiction and they haven't been dealing with it properly. Now, check out these photos from another Twitter user posted from Toronto's Pearson Airport, showing what it's like trying to get through security screening this past weekend. That again is something that is purely federal jurisdiction. Now, Blacklock's reporter had a great story out over the weekend showing that uh, Omar Al-Gabra, the transport minister, the guy who blamed travelers for not being quick enough to get their liquids in a plastic bag or to pull out their laptop in time, he was warned back in May that they were down by 25% on the staff count. And yet he wanted to blame travelers. He wanted to blame everybody else. He knew that they were down more than a thousand staff and just decided, let's keep blaming everyone else. But that seems to be par for the course with the Trudeau government. Our airports are a disaster. When you look at the the most delayed airlines, the most delayed airports, Canada is always on top or near the top. I mean, check out the, the departures delayed by Origin Airport, and Toronto is fourth for this past Sunday. What's surrounding it? We've got Dubai and a bunch of airports in China where they're imposing COVID zero policies that are delaying absolutely everything. We're not seeing American airports or European airports regularly at the top, like Pearson and uh, Trudeau and Montreal or Vancouver or Calgary, regularly showing up in the top.